Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I have done a phone grip tutorial. A uh, link for where I get my phone grips in bulk is in the description. Um, so these are some phone grips that I've made. Uh, some of them have probably already sold and some of these will be headed into my shop this morning. So if you are interested in a cool phone grip, check out my shop because I usually have some. Now, first off, you take your little blank phone grip and you cover the uh, outside with tape because you don't want to get resin on the outside because it actually accordions open and you don't want it all stuck together, right? So I always protect my edges with some scotch tape. Um, press it down, make sure it stays flat and level. You don't want it um, tilted on the bottom or like tape holding it up on one side. Um, now today I'm gonna be using the same technique on three different phone grips. This is clear gel polish that you need a UV light to cure. Um, this is the only way that this stuff works this way. This is the only way that I can get this look on my phone grips. Um, so this is how I do it. So I put a little bit onto some wax paper um, and I'm basically going to be painting it onto the phone grip using a disposable eyeliner brush, which I get from Amazon. Uh, everything that I'm using is going to be located in the description of the video. Please click the down arrow or chevron or um, three dots on the bottom right side underneath the video and that will bring you to the description of the video. Uh, any clear top coat gel polish will work, um, but you do need the gel polish that needs to be cured with a lamp. So if you've been doing my uh, fairy tutorial or anything where I use foils, um, that's the same lamp that I use for this. So I used to be a nail fanatic before I started painting rocks. So I always had like a, unhealthy supply of nail stuff and I am just incorporating that into my rock art because I still love it and it's beautiful and sparkly and colorful and fun. So yeah, that's why you see a lot of nail stuff in my in my painting. So I hope that you guys are able to appreciate um, what it does for for your work if you are using some nail stuff like shimmer powders and stuff like that. So basically I've done kind of like an animal print, very, very abstract. That's what this is all about. We just kind of want it to look weird. Uh, you don't have to be all per perfectionist about it. Um, uh, this is the light that I use. I usually use about a minute or a minute and a half to cure it. Um, and don't touch it with your fingers because your, your, your oils will ruin the surface and it won't work. So, wear gloves if you have to. Uh, you guys have seen me use chrome powders or colored like shimmer powders. Um, some people call it shell powder. Uh, it's, it's for nails and you can get it in a set with a bunch of different colors. And basically, I'm putting it on with a little makeup sponge, a little eye makeup sponge. I'm just rubbing it across areas of um, you can't really see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Uh, I have my notifications turned off, guys. I'm trying. I get something right. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use multiple different colors. You're going to see it a little bit better in a second. And I'm just rubbing it on. It's okay if you get it on other areas. It's fine. Don't worry. Just try and get, um, get some different colors in different areas and just rub it on there. And it kind of gives it like a shiny, metally, chromey kind of look. Um, as long as it's cured properly, as long as your, your top coat stuff is, is cured properly. Um, but it looks kind of messy, but we're going to brush all the excess stuff off after. And it there, I've put a few different colors. So there's like a turquoise. I'm going to be using a little bit of pink. Um, there's a little bit of like a gold look to it, some blue. Um, so I'm just trying to get different colors on different spots. And it looks so pretty already. I just love it. Um, but I'm going to use like a big soft fan brush. And I'm going to brush all the excess dust off of there. 
clean it up just a little bit. Um, but all the black area that you still see in between that beautiful, colorful chrome, um, I'm going to be putting glitter there. So <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> so like I said, I'm using the same technique on three different foam grips. One's white, one's black, and I'm doing the same thing here. I'm going to do like a funky, weird looking kind of animal print situation. Um, it kind of looks like a geode afterwards. Like it really is just beautiful. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to use the same colors of uh, shell powder or uh, nail chrome powder. Um, now I'm going to be using a glitter for, that I got from the pink chair. Um, I do have a link in the description. You can get a discount if you uh, type in Rachel Mitchell, uh, all one word, and you will get a discount if you shop at the pink chair. Um, that's where you can get nail chrome powders like I'm putting on here now. You can also get the glitter that I'm going to be putting on now. I'm using uh, Mod Podge as a glue. It is a glue-based Thing. It says right on the front of it, it's glue based. So I'm using it as a glue and I'm filling in with a little bit of glue in between all of those little chrome bits that we just decorated. So um, we're going to be sprinkling on glitter and the glitter is going to stick to just where we put the glue and it's going to look fantabulous. Yes, that is a real word. <laughs> it probably isn't, but it is now. As of today <laughs> so um, so I'm gonna be doing it you can't see but uh, I'm doing the same thing on both of them this glitter is absolutely gorgeous it's called mermaid dust it's so beautiful I'm gonna need to get more soon uh, don't forget use my discount code if you shop at the pink chair visit them on Instagram as well um, they they have a lot of beautiful posts on Instagram, uh, Facebook as well. But definitely visit them and see if you can get some glitter and some uh, shell powder or chrome powder. And I am literally just tapping on, using a dry paintbrush, uh, tapping on with my finger the glitter on all the gluey parts. And then I'm going to let it dry. Um, and then I'm going to use that same fan brush, that soft paint brush, uh, to brush off all the extra glitter. I'm doing it on a piece of uh, wax paper so that I can uh, save up any of the glitter that fell and put it back in my container because I just love this stuff. It just, it, it's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do the white one, do the same exact thing. And I'm going to be doing a third one, but I'm not going to be using a top coat. I'm going to use actually like colored gel nail polish. So it still needs to be cured with a lamp. These are just some ideas. Like I've done tutorials on um, phone grips before, um, but I'm, I haven't done one in a while. So I wanted to show you this technique and how different it looks on each color. Um, and it's surprising, just beautiful. They just glisten so much, they're gorgeous. See, all the extra glitter's gone. Wait till you see this resin, I'm telling you. I'm gonna show you that, I'm gonna show you that. <laughs> I just love it, all the purple and blue. So this one, while we're waiting for the white one to dry so I can brush the glitter off of that one, um, I'm going to use this gel polish. You still need a UV lamp, like I said. It still cures the same way as the top coat that we just did, but this is colored. It's not just clear. So I'm still going to put on the chrome powder, but it has a different effect. Um, it doesn't chrome it as much, um, but I'm going to use just multiple different colors, do the same funky design, and these are all like neon uh, gel polish. Um, I, bought, I bought this set uh, from Amazon, and you can also get clear top coat from Amazon. You can also get the UV light from Amazon. You can also get the shell powder from Amazon. Um, it just depends on where you're able to shop. If you're in Canada or the States, the pink chair has all of this and you get my discount. Um, so make sure you visit there. Um, so there's a little tip at the end of the video. It might seem like the video is finished, 
but it's not because I show you how to remove the tape and also a little special trick that a lot of people don't know about when they own a phone grip, especially one of mine that they've purchased in my Etsy shop. So all of these phone grips are, will be in my Etsy shop today. Um, so if you wanna take a look, I, I do have a lot of phone grips going in, um, a lot of different ones, and you'll see a couple at the end of this video too. So if you're bored and you think, hey, if I can buy a blank phone grip and decorate it myself, I'm basically showing off a piece of my artwork all day, every day on my phone. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now I do get my phone um, grips in bulk. Um, I'm not even sure where they're coming from, but they take forever to get to me. And um, so I make sure that I order way before I need them. <laughs> um, but the link is in the description and uh, you go from there. See if you're able to uh, order from there as well. Um, but basically I buy them in bulk and then I decorate them. And I always resin the tops. Um, that's the only sealer that I use, so I don't know if any other sealers work great or if they're um, like long lasting. You know, mine, mine last a long time. I keep the same phone grip on my phone for, well, I try and keep them as long as possible and I save them because I don't want to get rid of them. And so I just kind of keep using the same one over the last couple of years I've been uh, they are very sturdy. The resin really holds up and keeps them shiny and glossy and they're not all scratched up or anything. So the resin really does protect the artwork that you're putting on the phone grip. So I definitely recommend taking a look at um, one of my resin tutorials to show you how to do it. Um, I am posting a new resin tutorial over the next couple of days. So it's more of an updated version. So I'm using a bunch of different colors. There's a bit of like neon yellow, neon red, some orange, purple, blue, and a little bit of light blue as well. And I'm just using a disposable eyeliner brush just like I did with the other ones. And I'm gonna cure it like this. This one's kind of funky. <laughs> but I do the same thing. I cure it just like I did with the other ones. And then I'm going to put the glitter on them the exact same way. So I wanted to show you how different they look. Um, just using the same technique, but different, different color background on the phone grip. As well as different color polish. So it's pretty cool. You could probably use regular nail polish as well uh, uh, to decorate your phone grip, but the shell powder part, the, the the glittery part, that only works with a top coat that is UV, um, that UV dried, UV cured. So this uh, gel polish is a little stickier than the top coat. So the glitter goes on a little different, but it still looks really cool. It has a really cool effect. Um, it kind of looks like a brushed metal instead of a chrome metal. Um, so I'm going to use pink on pink and, and you know, go from where I've got the colors. I, it comes with like seven, seven different colors in the set of shell powder that I got from Amazon. Um, so there's a lot you can do with that and it lasts forever. And you'll see I use this shell powder in a lot of my tutorials. It just does beautiful things to my rocks and to my phone grips. So it's not, it, I, I don't recommend things to people unless I know they're good quality and they're long lasting and it's worth the buck because I'm not rich. So I, I want to make sure that you guys are getting what you're paying for. And this stuff definitely, it lasts forever and you can do so much with it. Same with foils and stuff like that. Um, you can also get foils from the pink chair and use my discount as well. So keep it in mind, guys. Click the description. There's a whole, whole bunch of links in the description of the video. Look at that. Look at how that looks now. It's just gorgeous. And I can't wait to show them to you um, when they're all finished because they just look 
magnificent. I'm still going to put some on the orange. Still going, still going. The more glitter, the better. So I'm going to also do the same thing. I'm going to glue all in where you see in between the brushed metal bits. Um, if you can leave it like this, if you don't want any more glitter, but I put glitter on there. It looks beautiful. It's going to look even more beautiful once it's resined. You cannot see the beauty in my camera. You can't. It's just not possible. These are so beautiful and I cannot express to you just how beautiful they are. Um, and then once they're resined, it's going to like blow your mind. So, um, I, it, once again, new resin tutorial coming up, but basically I mixed my resin in a little measuring cup, um, more details, more information in the actual resin tutorial. But I just want to show you that I use this popsicle stick to actually put it's kind of like icing a cake. You just get a little bit on the popsicle stick and you ice the top of the phone grip with the popsicle stick. Don't use too much because you don't want it to just spill all down the sides. Uh, just use enough to cover the entire top of the phone grip. And um, I use Lysol to clean up all of my resin stuff just so you know. I'm running low on Lysol so I'm being very careful. Um, I use a culinary torch, which I got from Amazon as well, and I will put that link in the description, um, and use it on a very low setting, and you can use that, stay far enough away from the phone grip that you don't burn it, but just use it to lightly get all the bubbles out of the top of your phone grip. Uh, once again, take a look at my resin tutorials to show you exactly how I do the process of resining. Now this is, after putting the resin on the top, look at how gorgeous that is. I have to let it dry for 12 to 15 hours before I touch it again because I don't want to get little fingerprints and stuff all over it. I don't want to ruin it. So I'm not going to touch these. You cannot see the color that I see in this. You will see it a little bit later, um, but you cannot possibly see the color that I'm seeing. Uh, it's like unicorn. All I could think of is like unicorns and, and pearls and it's just glitter. I just love it. Um, this one as well. You cannot see the beauty that I can see with my eyes. Um, if you've bought any of these phone grips, please comment on this video and say she's right. They do look better in person because <laughs> they are absolutely gorgeous. So yes, letting it dry for 12 to 15 hours on a covered flat surface so that the resin stays level on top and doesn't just all roll off one side. Um, it takes that long for it to dry, so make sure you don't touch it for at least 12 to 15 hours. Um, look at the color in that. Look at that. My goodness, you guys, it just makes my heart smile. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm putting them to rest. And after this, you're going to see a few tips. Um, there's a few people that don't know some stuff and I wanted to share it with you. So thank you guys for subscribing. You know, I love you all. Um, I know this was a cute one. Not all of you might even know what a phone grip is for, but uh, definitely take a look at my videos, my, my previous video on phone grips as well. Um, there's a little bit more info in there for what they are used for. Now, here's one tip. You got to take your tape off, right, once it's dry. So I'm being careful not to get fingerprints on my phone grip and I'm just going to peel the tape off the bottom really careful. Make sure it's all lifted and don't lift up your, your paper that's stuck to the phone grip at the bottom because that is your sticky part that goes on your phone. There the tape just peels off nice and easy. There might be a little bit of extra resin right there but that will come off in just a second. Don't you worry about that. That's not a big deal. Um, now the tip that I'm going to show you now is that you can actually switch the top. If for whatever reason you are bored, you can just switch the top. These little slots right here are actually holding onto the top of your phone grip. 
So if you take a small pointed object, um, I like using my smallest dotting tool. I just slip it in under the rubber there, right beside that little, that little slot. And you lift the rubber right over the tab. And there's a couple of those all the way around, but it just pops right off. Now, there's that little piece that we can take off. <laughs> all gone. Perfection. Perfection. So now we can switch the top if we want to. Or if one of our friends is like, oh my God, I need that. Like here, you can have it. Give me yours. <laughs> I I love that because I do, I like to switch mine up. They last forever. Like I said, they stay in great condition. Um, so I'm going to switch this one up. Let's see. Maybe the lips. Maybe the red lips. Sparkling. So yeah, you just find the little notches. Same way. Find little notches and, you know, line them up and snap it in. It goes right in. Make sure they're all in, wiggle it around, make sure it doesn't pop off, open up the accordion, jiggle it around, make sure your top, top is on there good, and there you go. So witcheroo. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Uh, a lot of you guys don't know that, so you might have like um, a pop socket on a phone case that you think is there forever, but you can switch it up. So just so you know, little tips from me. I like to leave you with little nuggets of information all the time. So good luck, guys. I hope you like this. I hope I've inspired you in some way. Um, check out my Etsy shop. Links in the description. I do sell lots of phone grips in there. So thank you again. Make sure you're subscribed. And I will see you very, very soon. Keep an eye out for my resin tutorial, updated version. Love you guys. Bye.